Hi, my name's Ryan. I'm from Kyala. And this is my 1967 Impala. I saw him when I was 17 and I just loved the shape, just the, the size and the flow of the quarter panels and that's what really got me. My very first car was a HJ sedan. I drove it around for oh, five or six years. Because we had the panel shop, I sort of got a, a new car every six months after that. Then I found a HJ and I, I built that, put a bit of a hottie throw weight in it and made it sort of more of a street machine car. It was good fun. When we got married in 2007, I had it in my wedding party, so that was pretty special. I searched for oh, 10 so years and then found one on eBay, and, but I missed that one. So then I searched for about another 10 years and found this one. I found the car on eBay, it was in Maui. Got there and it sort of wasn't what I expected. It was flat black and the hood liner was hanging out of it. But anyway, we jumped in and got it home and started ripping into it. I started on the body, just done a few repairs and I ground back the quarter panels and they were just destroyed. So I yeah, had to get onto a guy in Melbourne that was an importer. Got a couple of brand new quarter panels for it. A couple of mates helped me out here and there. Done the rest of the repairs myself. Then I bought the wheels and the wheels were bigger than I thought. So I knew a 10 had fit, it's pretty easy. So I got a 12 and I thought I'd just make it in, but it wasn't quite that way. So then I had to um, mini tub it and scallop the chassis. And that created about a month's extra work. So while I had it apart to do the wheels and the tubs and I thought oh, I might airbag it. So I got onto a mate, it's got a front end centre and yeah, we started cutting shutting to make the airbags fit and yeah, it was pretty, that was pretty much fun too. Yeah, when I started the build, I thought it'd be like a 12 month finish. I was aiming for bright the year after I pulled it off the road, which is November. So three brights later and another six months and plenty of pain and tears and yeah, we got there. It's got a 327 V8, power glide auto, nine inch diff, three five diff gears. Just wanted to keep it, that's the original motor in it. Just wanted to keep it in there because it, everything worked and it's cruiser and we wanted to just drive the thing. It's got a American just disc brake kit, original trim kit from America, 20 by eight and a half and 20 by 12 inch billet Boyd Harms. Originally it was going to be candy apple red with red trim. We had a panel shop and I was st standing in the office one day and a Commodore pulled up out the front of the sewing centre next door and it was the green Cove Mica and just the lighting on it changed from green to blue and I thought nah that's the colour. It's original vinyl trim, wanted to keep it that way, I just really like the way that the, the trim is in them. They got little subtle like chrome in the, in the door trims and the dash clusters just yeah, it's pretty basic, but I just wanted to keep it that way. So it's got a theme of like originality inside the car. Decided to get the badges airbrushed on. Spoke to a mate, dropped the car around him, flat rubbed it, he airbrushed the badges on. Just to keep it smooth and nice and clean, and it's, it's actually, yeah, it's pretty good. Go to a car show now and there's always people pointing and trying to touch them, and yeah, it's just heaps better, and I'm glad, really glad that I've done it now. Yeah, there was lots of late nights, yeah, big weekends. But it's just rewarding that, yeah, knowing that I've done, oh, I'd say 80, 85% of it with my own hands. And yeah, it's just amazing what can turn out in the end using these two things. Yeah, so we're pretty family orientated when, when we go to car shows. My wife, she loves dressing up in the rockabilly and now the daughter's taking that on too. And Masani works for V8 Supercars and my youngest daughter, she, she just follows in mum's and the old sister's footsteps and kept us as a tight knit family. And yeah, we pretty much do all the car things together. And yeah, it's really awesome. So at the car shows, it gets a fair bit of attention with them, I'm really happy with. Just people that you don't know come up compliment you're on your car and it's just it's so rewarding that you know that you've done a lot of it and um, yeah it's, it's unreal. The daughter's been on to me to get into her project for a year or so now. It's a 1953 Chev. It's good that the daughter's taken on the passion and it'll be a really good build to, 
to build the car with her. It could be bad times, it could be good times, but yeah, I'm hoping that it'll be all pretty good and smooth sailing and she listens to what I tell her to do. Yeah, I enjoy the car the most when, uh, when the family and I are in it and just cruising along, just playing some tunes and listening to the engine and just out on the open road. It's, yeah, that's when I really love being in it, love the thing the most.